Is Bash pursued? On the chat, there we've got a couple. Well, is there a couple? We've got some Tony Helping fans. Peter Hill, come on, Tony Helping, you legend, and bring it home for us at the Bell Grove. And uh, Vu Trong Sun, good luck, Mr. Helping. So, is there any Bash Masood fans on the chat? Or is it all Tony Helping? Straight away, the plaque is in. I mean, how many times did it go in for the Chris Bow one and uh, Mark Boyle match? That ball potting continues. It's a re-rack. Thomas Fogbogie, hope you've enjoyed this week, Thomas. Come on, Bash, he's, I knew he was a Bash fan. From the uh, same area. Aren't you, Thomas? That's right. Jules, come on, Bash. Steve, you're right. Love seeing the new players get on the TV table. Good stuff again. <laughs> yeah, re -rack. Go on the helping from Lee Bowles. Ashley H, come on Tony, let's go mate, you've got this. And come on Tony Legend, come on Tony Legend from Lewis Mitchell. Wow, loads of Tony fans there. And Dave Rawlinson, he's coming with his missus, he's come to support Tony as well. He's sat ringside, you'll probably see him on the camera at some point. Good guys, these two. Supported our uh, World Championships uh, in previous years as well. Good to see them back competing. And here it is, Tony Alpin into a World Masters final. It's Masood. Oh, that was a long way off, don't one you gonna forget about. But first frame. Extension, please. Oh, 
something there from Bash. Just, uh, just lost the cue ball a little bit. Tony, please come back to the table. Yep, nice shot there from Tony. Shot. Looks very comfortable on this table, Tony does. He's going to be a good start. And he is ahead. Remember, race to seven. And he's 1 0 ahead now, Tony helping. Good start. Road to the final for Tony. Beats 7 0. Uh, Antonio Dolden. Dave Birchill next. 7 6. Last frame decided. Two. It's Dave. Bash, Matt Brannan. 7 3. Extension, please. Yeah, nice shot.
So Tony looks very relaxed on this table. We've got a bit of work to do in this frame, but uh, definitely looks the better out of the two players at the moment. Shot, great shot. That's made things even more easier now. Tony fans keep on coming through the chat. Come on, there's got to be more, more Bash fans out there. He's a popular guy. Oh, just overdone that a bit. Overdone it, he's overcut it. Just that, you know, inch or two just out of position. That's made the difference. Now, Bash, I feel like this is a, an easy opportunity and one he definitely needs to take, but it's in between both balls. This isn't great. Has he got an actual angle? Just a Swing this red. Man. Three cushions. I think he has. One, two, three cushions. Perfect. All about now. He's got to have to take the black into the opposite corner where it's. He's got to stun this back. Nicely done. And this will definitely settle Bash down. Nice clearance from Bash. One frame apiece. A look at Bash's route to the final. Tony Pitts first. 7 4. Then Dave Kerrigan. 7 1. Gareth Hibbert. That was the one that he played this morning. Obviously, Gareth was a few, a few matches behind. And then Richard Swaffield. So he's beaten two pro players there. Gareth Hibbert, Richard Swaffield. Both seven frames to five. I feel like Tony's had the, the easier route to the final. But, you know, at this standard, at, for this age and that, the, I mean, the standard is very, very high. The two Dans, they've pulled a frame back. It's only 6-5 now. What's he done there, Stephen Ellis? Looks like they're, they're going for a finish. Does that black go? I think it does. This could be the closing moments now of this match. Yeah, perfect shot from Marshy. And now this simple black to knock out the two Dans. And they will be into the final. And they are into the final. Stephen Ellis pops the final black. We'll be seeing them into the final. Dan, you know, to both Dan's unlucky, you've had a terrific run. Played superbly throughout. I've got to be proud of uh, making the semi-finals. I've had a brilliant run. So, yeah, disappointing that we're not going to see the two Dan's on the uh, stream table for the final. That's the only good thing, is I'll probably get some helping comms now. That was a bit selfish of me thinking like that, but that's the way I'm thinking. But yeah, the uh, Greg Marsh, Stephen Ellis, I mean, it's a phenomenal pairing. Stephen Ellis, he's going to be a professional player next year. And then we all know the quality of the Buddha, Craig Marsh. They're waiting for uh, their opponents. Remember, I told you when after Mark Boyle won his seniors title, he's got another match to play, and he's playing in the doubles. So let's have a look to see 
how that match is going off. I know um, it was probably going to get underway at some point. Um, where are we at? Let's have a look. Um, oh, that's what he's saying. It's nil nil. So they have only just started. So early stages, but this doubles final will probably be our last final of the day. So we're expecting the mixed doubles to be next, and then followed by the men's doubles. So mixed doubles, we know Claire PT and Greg Davis. Oh, I've got. Yeah, oh no, the mixed doubles is really into it. Yeah, Claire PT and uh, Greg Davis, they're in it. They're going to be playing Wilson and Lauren Chandler in the final. That will be coming up straight after this Masters final. All shaping up very, very nicely indeed. Antonio Dolden, thanks very much for your comment. Bash was my mixed doubles partner yesterday. And Tony, yeah, we saw that result on there, Antonio. Antonio. Must have had an off day if you ask me. You never knew who Tony was. Well Yeah, Tony is a good player. Down in the South region. He's been playing for years, let me tell you. Don't be too disappointed getting beaten by him. And he's 2-1 ahead currently in this match. A way to go yet. Race to seven. McSue to break, trailing two frames to one. Time running. Extension, please. Yeah, nicely delicate, nice delicate shot there from Bash. Is he looking to try and level this match up again? The yellow on the bottom cushion, that doesn't really Oh, the cause. So they need developing some way, shape, or form. Yeah, lovely shot. Great cannon. Dave Rawlinson there for all you Tony Helping fans. Sat there in the corner trying to hide. 
Alright, we have an always stop on Dave, are you? Guy, both of them all. Bash. You got? Can you take this into the centre? Has he got any part of the pocket? Looks like he has, but not a lot. He's going for the centre anyway. We'll have a good idea if it's going in. Oh, what a shot. Great shot. Hard to the pocket. Graham. Two, two. Best of nine. Now, to see who picks up the World Masters trophy. Clearance uh, from Bash just when he needed it. We expect both of these players now to be settled into it. Frame number five. Match tied at two frames all. Tony helping to break. Time running. Gonna be dry. Bashes back to the table again. So I think fine. We don't want too many uh, dry breaks. Watch out. Very, very impressed with all the uh, helping fans out there watching. Very, very impressed indeed. Share the message, guys and girls. Let them know that he's, he's on. Share the stream link. Let's get a few more watching. Yeah, you know, your favourite players are. Performing and seeing the results that they get. To find a bit of rhythm now. Bashes. Just that black, I think it goes, yeah, look over my overhead camera. That black goes to the left centre, but he's left himself some hampered cue in here. A little bit careless. Forget. We're now on TikTok. So beware, all you TikTokers out there. Give us a follow, will you? We only just started it last night. IPA Pool Talk is where you need to reach out to us. Go on. What's there to lose? There'll be loads and loads of content coming on that in the next coming months. We're going to be starting quite a bit this week. Just come and see, see what we've got to yeah, show you. At the moment, Bash Masood is showing exactly that he can't wall him, wall him out to Tony Open. He's going to be breaking in this uh, sixth frame as well. 
V2 bash leads. Tony helping thinking that. Now yeah, that dry break. Really, really been punished. There's Mark Boyle. Is he going to be picking up another world title? Here he is up against with Geo Edgar, his uh, playing partner, playing against Wayne Fryer and Wade Morley. Six. Bash McSue to break, leading three frames to two. Time running. Now Wade Morley he had a chance of uh, two titles. Obviously, just got beat in the last one. In the semi final, so he'll be trying hard now to try and pick up a trophy that he's won before. They got that double. He's going to be a man on fire. But he didn't. So he's back to the table. Seems like ages he was at the table. He's just been sat down admiring what Bash has done to him. Can he get back into this match? So many bodies have to go past. Not enough, I don't think it has. Can you get through to anything in the top half of the table? I think it's a bit shorter, shorter pace. Can he get through? Does he have to swerve it at all? No, he's straight through. He's fine. Yep, good shot, Tony. Oh, still got a chance, but these reds are on the cushion. Still not out of the woods yet. Well, he'll feel like he uh, take these out. take this red I think he got all the pocket oh, nicely potted well I've got some assistance in the commentary box now I know I've been on my own I know I've been moaning to you all that I've been struggling and I'm having to do everything on my own but uh, James Williams who uh, does a hell of a lot of work behind the scenes on all the coverage that you've been watching this week he's come to open the country box james welcome good afternoon i thought you'd forgot about good me afternoon no yeah no. i know i can it's a, i have to admit it's very chilly in here yeah and there's and a radiator between us and that's provides some warmth but and you can i bet you wondered what was happening because i was stroking the radiator <laughs> didn't yeah. you but now you realize yeah. it's pretty cold yeah i've been down here a few times to take the photos ready for the the future games but like i said this master's final been bash has had a hell of a run i mean Knock it off. Gareth Hibbert is not a mean feat. It's not a small That's feat, is it? Seven five, yeah. We'll yeah. we'll champion we you know, we've got to add that in somewhere. Yeah. On 
the chat though, James. There's a lot of Tony Open fans. Hell of a lot watching. We're seeing how he's going to progress. I mean, at the moment, 3 2 down. He was in control of this match, but Bash has come back well at him. So, he's got a little bit of work to do here on these yellows. Trying to double, but he's under hit that by a considerable weight. Definitely. Didn't play it with much conviction though, did he? I suppose he had to try and play position at the same time. Tony is in control of this frame. I just feel like he's just going to knock this on and off the cushion. Snooker behind the red. I think there's a cue ball. Oh, oh cool. it's just the final roll. I thought he played that almost horribly perfectly then, but no. One free shot, one visit. It's another error though from Tony Helping. Again, he'd speak to Tony after this game of how he keeps his hair in place when he's playing a shot. <laughs> yeah, you've got similar <laughs> hair, you too, haven't you? Mine, mine's got a little less grey in it. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> I meant the lengthwise and the, the thickness of it. No, this match just looked like at the moment it's getting away from Tony helping. And Bash, a very established snooker player. Plays a, bit, a lot of snooker. Plays nine boy, plays pretty much everything. He put his eye to snooker recently. At the moment, he's putting his eye to Paul. He's ahead by four frames to two. Looks like he's going to take a comfort break now. What else can we look at? The Mark Boyle up. Do you have a match? Is Mark Boyle going to come away with a double this weekend? Yeah, he's got a chance. Well, he's still got yeah. two matches to win. He needs to be winning this one first. It's Wade Morley and uh, Wayne Fryer. It's young Geo. His first world championships. He's, uh, he's he didn't do too well in the singles, losing the first round. It's not easy. There's so many good players out there. But he's into a world semi-final. Here he is. Like the probably one of the well, probably is the best player in the world at the moment. Mark Boyle. No, we've not seen that uh, performance from him this week, but. He's won so much, and you know, even winning the seniors event, it's a, it's a great achievement. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Joe Edgar is almost dressed as a young Mark Boyle. <laughs> He's got the oh. same same colour scheme, the gloves on. There's no there's no kangaroo pants for the chalk. Well, that, that might come as well. No, all the uh, Scottish <laughs> guys they've all have a very similar look. You know, Dunstu, he likes the uh, the glove and all of that as well. Say that Mark's not got his glove on today for this one anyway. No, he hasn't, has he? Yeah. yeah. Changing it up a bit. And another safety shot. Is it still nil nil then? Is that first strike? Yeah, no, I was just thinking that. Wonder if uh, that's just because they haven't put it on a tablet or something. Yeah, it might be. Nope, we'll probably need a referee down there. <laughs> yeah, we need to speed try it up. And try and get somebody on the move. Might just go and chase that out. No, if I, if I leave you with this fort, will you be able to hold it? Oh, well, I won't be long. It's only just out here. I'll be back <laughs> in a minute, mate. Don't start panicking. He's got all hot sweats. No, not that it's possible to have hot sweats in this room, let me tell you. No, definitely not. It's, I know one thing, that James, when we're back here in five weeks, we need to be in that room down there. Yeah, That's where we need to be because it's, it's lovely and toasty in there. Is it? Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely Baltic in here, I have to say. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. I'll see Brom. Right. So as Morley and Fry look at the table, looking where to go. A bit of a snooker on, just behind the uh, eight ball. Definitely no shot clock on here just yet. I think that might be happening soon. There's a uh, Wayne. There's a quick look. 
comfort break on the main stream table in the Masters final. That's why we're bringing this double semi-final for a little bit longer. Sadly no action happening yet, just more deliberation and tactics of how they're going to play it. Nearly had a shot there. Blade Wade Molly nearly got into a mixed doubles semi final, uh, mixed doubles final. Just went out in the semi final to Wilson and Chandler. Just coming up next as they play Petey and Davis. Are we going to get an actual shot here from Wayne Fryer? I think he's actually the uh, the current Masters champion. There'll be a new name on the trophy today. Frame number seven. Tony helping to break. Trailing at four frames to two. Time running. And oh, we don't know how that's gone. We can't, we can't see because it was stood in the way, but I think they hit it into the pack of reds. It's helping goes to take the break. And he's come up dry. Certainly advantage here to Bash. As he comes to the table, up to go 5-2 up. You know, back now, they're just the referees caught them on the dinner, then they're all together. Yep. Uh, so. Yeah, no, I did see them as I walked in, actually, so that makes oh, sense. Oh, did you? Yes. Oh, you didn't grass them up, though, yeah. did you? So I said, why have we got all these referees on dinner? Yeah. <laughs> so on the move, I'm going to go and have a look at that score for us, because I know there's... It's definitely the Scottish contingent that'll be keeping a close eye on that and the North East. Yeah, Tony Halpin came up dry on his break, unfortunately, for him. Oh, so. God, his things are going from bad to worse for him then. And we we, we finally got a shot from uh, Wayne Fryer, but we, we didn't get to see it because we were both stood in the way. So. Right. <laughs> so not much to report then. <laughs> Uh, this this table's a little bit untidy. Oh, hey, oh we've got uh, an update on the score. Well, uh, to finish it off. I'm sure it is worth <laughs> kicking off, of kicking the referees off the dinner. <laughs> we do need to keep that score up to date somehow. And, uh, you know. Uh, okay, so they've just okay. they've updated Q score themselves. It's so actually the one three two one, to yeah. Geo and Edgar. Uh, Geo, Geo, and Geo Edgar Boyle. and Mark Boyle. Yeah. Okay, well that's uh, progress. Better than nil nil. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's tried to power that in, hasn't he? Yeah, just trying to make things happen, trying to develop balls. You know, he's under pressure there with that bottom right hand corner where Bash has got his red block in that pocket. Oh, but you know, it's not a simple table for uh, Bash. Bash was soon out of his seat there, like a whip it. Yes. Cued up well. Bit of a formality on the reds, maybe that red just below the yellows, the eight ball, probably the problem one. Well, that's, that's not going to well drop it. There you go. It was never threatening in the pocket. As soon as he hit it, he knew he'd missed it. But he's in control of this frame. Tony's probably going to have to really make something happen to clear these corner pockets. He's probably not going to be able to do it at this visit either because I'm not sure what he's got on. I think he can get through to a pot. The, only, the yellow closest to take that into the top left. I think can he get through to that one? Right at the black spot. Yeah, this is the only shot he's got on. This is not easy. Oh, what a pot from wow. Tony helping. Lovely. But it's just not gonna get any easier. Gonna need another good one. Yeah, that that yellow in the corner nearest his hand now. Is that a skill shot? Well, get it, it. with that red so far away from the uh, pocket, James, it's not easy. 
I'll tell you what, that weren't an easy shot either. He's just no. got down and just rolled it in. Like it was over the pocket. Good shot. You know, it didn't look like he had uh, much gap between them two balls. Take some good cueing. Showing some good signs now, Tony. So he just triggered him a bit, losing. I think there was a little drop <laughs> of his head after he took that shot. I don't know if he was chuckling to himself because I don't think he expected it to go in so well. See, the, the playing this skill shot, this yellow into the bottom left-hand corner, that's a little bit easier because obviously the, the red is over the pocket or a bit more closer to the pocket, where the other side isn't easy. Well, so oh. you <laughs> do need to... <laughs> You need to play these pretty well. He's thinking about it. Yeah, this is, again, it, I mean, the skill shot isn't straightforward. Oh, what a shot. Oh, wow. Is that going to knock that red in? No. Nope. How is the red <laughs> not knocked in there? <laughs> not. How has he missed that? And look where the other red's gone to the top right and corner to block that yellow off. I know the black's blocked his red off, but you've got to say, very, very unfortunate. Bash will be really happy to get back to this table. Well, he's definitely coming back to the table. I mean, this will be absolutely oh, extraordinary yeah. clearance if he he's just looking at it. from here. There we go. Is he trying here? Oh! If that would have, if that would have come off, yeah. And I'm not sure what would have done. <laughs> what would have said? Yes, time off, please. <laughs> We've got quite a lot of highlight reel at the moment. Tony would have just took took over all of it. That would have definitely gone viral, that clearance. Yeah, definitely. So, Bash is back to the table. One free shot, one visit. Just knocking his red into play. You feel he's looking like he's going to open up a three-frame lead. He has underplayed a couple of shots though, hasn't he already? So hopefully he's just have to pat it. See how this one goes. A plant. Nice shot. Yep. Yeah, played that ever so well. Executed it superbly. Wants that to travel a little bit more. I'll not be happy with that one. Might have to uh, reroute here. Back for the middle. Yeah, it's got to reroute here. I mean, it's it's not going to cause him any problem, I don't think. Dragging it on off the cushion. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Eight ball left. Pretty simple one, really. Just dropping it in. And a three frame lead. Frame. It's been achieved from Bash Masood. Yeah. Away. Now, Tony, you know, potted them two great yellows. Didn't get any really reward from it. And, um,. Just really pushed out of the boat too much there. But I suppose when you, you you know you are a couple of frames behind in a race to seven, you do have to try and make things happen. Not for sure, definitely. So when you were playing pickers, oh here we go. I've never seen you at the table to be fair, since since I, I've known you. But uh, what was your drink of choice? Drink. Yeah. Got pure organic drinks on the table there. Yeah, oh, right, yeah. Um, what did I use? To, did that bring anything to the table? No, I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> that if I had a water or have a like a fizzy pop or oh, I can I did ad admire Jake Newloves on the, during the final with his uh, custom-made bottle of cordial that he has. <laughs> Reusing an old uh, water bottle, yeah, two I mean, litres yeah, of it. Is that one with a bit of cordial, <laughs> is it? it? Really isn't. I know Mark Boyle, when, when he needs some energy, he has a, a certain Scottish brand of orange drink. <laughs> 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 Tastes 
Tastes like girders, apparently. Oh, all right, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think I always had a, a liquid just following me around at some point when I was on the TV table or in the arena. This looks like an easy clear off a bash. Don't see any problem balls on there, Mark? No, he and he he just looks like a, a man in a in on a mission really now. Not sure how we can see Tony getting back into this. But at the moment, it's just seems to be a one-man show. He needs a ball on the next break, doesn't he? Things are definitely going very well here for Bash. Is there going to be a twist? Is it going to be a turn of events? Mm. Yeah, Bash is, you know, composing himself. He feels like this is an important time, and it certainly is, because it will put him on the hill of six. Remember, this is only a race to seven. I'm utilising the shot clock to his advantage. You don't have to use the extension all the time, but if you've got it... Gives you a bit more thinking time. I don't know if it's worked too well for him, actually. It's very straight on, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of an angle. Just how he gets back for that eight ball. Oh, he's missed the yellow, though. There is a twist. Yes. We do always have an IPA twist. This is your chance, Tony. And all you Tony fans out there, I'm sure you're thinking, come on, Tony. I can hear you now. I can. <laughs> I, I can hear you at home shouting at the TV or a device that you've got it on. Taking the harder red. But he's, he's got it. He's got oh. it. Now, them two reds, only a plant. I think they could be made. There's plenty of gap in between them above the bulk line to get to them. It's going to go for them early though. He's just trying to play the cannon. Not sure I'd like to play the cannon, to be honest. That's not my shot. But I don't think he's landed badly. He's obviously landed close to the red. It's one that he can get, especially with the last two he got in the previous frame. It's, it's easy. Is he going to play a snooker? Well, mm -hmm. a bit surprising, really. It was a relatively easy table, but there you go. Somebody called Gorgeous on the chat, but he was right, Pickers. I did do exactly that, shouting at the TV or the device that they're using. Yeah, I know. I've done it myself before, so I understand. What you played that for? Come on! <laughs> here we go. Oh, he's asking a lot here with the cushions. Yeah. He's missed it. One free shot, one visit now for Tony. Surely Tony stops this rot a little bit, gets a frame back on the board, and he he'll be breaking in the the night frame. Just makes those two problem balls a little bit easier for him now. Another thing that Gorgeous says, it was nice to see Mr. Helping still has that JP Manic Q. I don't know a lot about Qs, uh, but, you, but you're saying to me you don't see many of those, so using a rear Q, maybe I'll mention that in me, <laughs> me chat at the end. Yeah. Uh, Love the Chris White shirt on Tony today as well. 
Ready for the You're ready for the final. Smartly dressed, yeah. Chris, as this week, all this week. I just could I'll just take mine out of the back. Oh, Tony! Oh, no. Tony, Tony, Tony! Oh no! Just when you thought he was getting back into the match. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Can't be missing them ones. Missing one too many. And that is probably just down. He's been sat in his chair just admiring Bash's play. 6 2 in our leads. Tony helping is going to need the remaining five frames if he's going to have a, a, a chance of lifting this trophy. Shake of the head there from Bash. I don't think can believe he's, he's got there. I think he's annoyed yeah. with that yellow miss. But Just when we thought Tony was going to get side. back into it, that has happened. A disaster. But come on, Tony, you're not out of it yet. You never know. Frame by frame now, just try and get back on the board one by one. You never know. Pressure is a very, very strange thing. I mean, the ment momentum definitely is with Bash, but things can turn. Frame number nine, sort of helping to break. Trailing gets six frames to two. Time running. Yeah, biggest break of his weekend. Need to ball. Not looking good, especially now that red's rattled. Oh, things have just not happened for Tony here. No. Made good contact with him. Just got to say a little bit unlucky again. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a nice line on the table, isn't it? Ollie and Fryer have got one back, so it's free all in that one. Remember, need to get to seven to get through. Plenty to go in that final, in that semi-final. Big Marsh, Stephen Ellis will be waiting to play them. Stephen Ellis, about six foot seven, Mark. Oh, nine. Yeah. <laughs> He's the tallest lad about, I think. I'll have to, uh, I'll be doing photos of them both shortly. Ready yeah. Ready for the final, but I might have to prop the green screen up a little bit further. Yeah, you might do. <laughs> Ooh, that nearly went wrong. I'll tell you what, we could be seeing the closer moments here of this match now. Yeah, I was going to say. I guess that red next to the yellow, that might be the only little problem, but kick that away. I think he might be able to take it now. If not, it'll be in the next ball. Or at least get the yellow that's just near the, the white ball now. Yeah. Get that out of the way. I think he's got enough room to pull that red. I think so. I'm going to see uh, the way that he's played that. That's fine. You don't have to take it now. He'll probably take the one on the bottom cushion, maybe. Thinking a little bit what could have been, unfortunately. Gert Swart put taking out a red hot Hibbert probably makes Bash a worthy winner. Yes, a fair comment. Fair comment. Well, it's amazing how Gareth went from being in four competitions to just the winning in the one. A short space of 12 hours, I guess. Mm -hmm. Paul Bamford asking where Kevin Barton is. Kevin, uh, Paul, sorry. Um, he had to have an emergency eye operation this week. Uh, so he was here. He was planning to be here today as well. But unfortunately, he had to have that operation and he's had to go home. So it was just as it's looking like we're now down to the final ball in this match. This black then to become the world. Masters champion. 
There you see it. Yes. All right, I'm going to head off over Sick. to the TV arena and we'll join you in uh, very, very soon. Shortly, Mark. Bash McSuit. <laughs> Fist pumping there. Big celebrations for him. He was so excited to get on the table when I was chatting to him earlier. Getting his photo ready for the weekend. Like I said, he had a great run to the final, knocking off Gareth Hibbert on the way. And he, uh, he now gets a trophy to lift. And a bit of prize money too. You can see Pickers there just going into the background. And then Bron, right in the background. The true legend of this tournament. Keeps everything ticking over. But yeah, Bash. A worthy winner there. Unlucky for Tony, just just his brakes coming up dry. Put him out there. I think interviews will be happening shortly. And just a little discussion of how the game went between them both while they wait for pickers. <laughs> Interesting to watch. Just a little bit of inexperience just, just being on the TV table from Tony. It's a completely different table for everybody else. Just want you to get on there. I'll hand you over now to Pickers with Tony and Bash. Thanks, James, and uh, here we are down at the TV arena, and you know another great final, really. And you know it seemed like it was one-sided, but there's always two players. And Tony, come and have a few words with me. Tony, helping everybody. <laughs> Tony, obviously you might be a little bit disappointed, but surely you've got to be super, super proud of even making the yeah, final. Yeah, I'm over the moon getting to the final. But best man won on the day. I'm, I miss balls, uh, and he didn't, you know. And, uh, Simple as that. Yeah, I've had a good week. I'm pleased to be here. And, and yeah, disappointed. You know, that red. I, should, I should be shot for that red. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you know, you played some brilliant shots in the match and uh, a few a few bits and pieces didn't go your way, but, uh, you know, you only sometimes can play frame, the ball. The first frame when I missed the, the easy one down the rail, you know, I'll get off to a good start there. But, you know, that, that was a Another poor miss, you know. You can't afford to make these mistakes. I mean, I was commentating on your match back in the uh, back room there, and the amount of support that was on the chat, you'll, you'll be really, really proud to see all of that. Loads of people <laughs> obviously cheering for that. No, yeah, no offence yeah. to Bash, no. there was a few Bash fans oh. on there as well. Oh but no. you seem to have taken all that as well, so yeah. you've actually <laughs> caught yeah. the hearts of uh, all the chat. Uh, yeah, no, and yeah, the, even Dave and, lot, yeah, Dave I'm and his missus have all come I've down here. Thank you so much to these two. They've, tri they've travelled all the way from London last night to come up and support me, you know. That's that is outrageous, that is. There you go. You know? I mean, uh, uh, what, they t what them two mean to me, I can't tell you, it's, uh, it's ridiculously humbling. Uh, I'm sorry to let you down. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to say no. <laughs> yeah, not yet. <laughs> and I know you guys, you know, you have supported our events in the past, and hopefully you're going to continue to support yeah. them uh, as well, so. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But a big well done anyway, and Thanks unfortunately, run all this time, no doubt you'll be back at some point. Real Tony day. helping, everybody. <laughs> Bash, please come up, just have some words. Bash, right. every yeah. year I read your posts on Facebook. <laughs> You've Facebook. finally done it, haven't you? Finally, about time I won something in 8-Ball, because uh, I've been dabbling in and out of it for many years, and... Um, this World I Championships is a dream, isn't it? I'm, I'm a decent player, on my, but I just don't produce anything. I just, play, uh, you know, I can, I can lose to him <laughs> tomorrow. I, it's a, when I play well, I know I can beat anybody in my mind, and I proved that today because of, to beat Gareth and from being behind, uh, I just didn't miss a ball. And uh, Richards in the semis, so I, I think I peaked at the right day in the in, in this whole week and. Uh, my confidence was high, and uh, and I know that I don't miss much when I'm playing well. Yes, yeah, so tell the audience you've already played two games this morning. Whether that helped it you did, a little yeah, bit, made it a little know, bit of an advantage. Like, it just keeps you in tune, doesn't it? And so I'm really pleased I, w I won. Um, just a message to Thomas: 
keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them all coming. <laughs> he, he knows what I mean. <laughs> a little bit about the game, I mean, you can have a few words about Tony in a minute. I mean, the way that you went about it, I mean, Tony put you under pressure straight away. Did that really just trigger you to try and motor on? Because, you know, once the you did get motoring, it was hard to is, stop you. Yeah, sometimes when I'm behind, then I start playing well because uh, I, I played a bit too casual, but I've given it a bit more thought this, this today. And um, Tony was a bit unlucky. He's had three good breaks and potted nothing and yeah. left me a finish on every time. So... The game's brutal, isn't it? Sometimes it goes for you, sometimes it doesn't. So, um, it, you know, I think I handled it well, considering I've never played on the TV table. Got used to the times today, three matches under the clock. So you, it really puts a different perspective and you've got to quickly think, you know. And like you say, the circumstances are very different in this TV yeah, arena. Yeah. Do you start thinking about, obviously, the people watching, the people at home? That, uh, no, I does mean, get anything yeah, go through I your just, mind? I just got on with it. And, you know, just, um, I didn't really think. I just thought, just play how I've been playing. And uh, I, think I, I think I probably looked relaxed. I don't know. I, I, I yeah. felt relaxed, didn't feel any nerves, which sometimes you do. So I just played what I'm capable of. And uh, as I say, I'm glad I won some at in the end, because uh, we've been coming here years, haven't we? <laughs> we? Well, you certainly have won something. I'm now going to give you the trophy. Cheers. You have become the pure organic drinks world masters champion. I told Bash you. Bash for soon, everybody. <laughs> Mind the lid. It's quite loose. Well played, Bash, and uh, that's another champion.